guys me again um this is just a quick video i was rearranging my knives and looking over them and um and i started looking at them and i do have several uh what you might call gentleman's knife um something not too big you know you can slip in your pocket not very aggressive looking and i came across these choices um the smallest one would be as you all know the ladybug um very small very lightweight you know you can put it in your keychain or slip it in your pocket it's a good gentleman's knife the ladybug and then i'm going to continue with the spider coats um the pingo also slip joint very lightweight very small and you know a non-aggressive looking uh, blade on it so the pingo is also a good gentleman's knife and then you go to your dragonfly also small non-aggressive you know orange color uh, so that's another good one very lightweight all three of them um, then you start going into your other small ones this is a case knife. It's a very small keychain knife. You can see the blade. This is very cheap. I mean, I paid like I don't even know how much, but it wasn't even ten dollars for it. And it's very sharp. But the only thing is, it has some some play on the on the blade. But I mean, for small tasks, you know, something a little knife you want to have in your pocket. You know, when you're wearing a suit or Dress pants, you know, nothing too bulky, very lightweight. It's a good one. Uh, this is from Bear and Sons. Um, your small side tail lock back, very effective, very strong lock. There's like almost no play on this one, very sharp. It's a very nice uh, gentleman's knife, very lightweight. And from there, you go to your your OD2 also very small very lightweight uh, doesn't look very menacing to anybody very small um, from there uh, you will go with the Sudbuster Junior from Case also slip joint very small knife very traditional looking you know this is a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier, but you know, it's still a good pocket knife, gentleman's knife. From there, you go to larger ones, and it will be the um, the Cursor Chill. And even though it has a very long blade, it is very slim and very lightweight. So, I mean, I'm just not looking at what. The knife looks like uh, looks like but also as uh, uh, weight of the knife <clears throat> so this one is a good you know also a good gentleman's knife very lightweight and then there's another Kershaw I really like this one this is the uh, the Kershaw Hawk also very lightweight G10 liner lock small blade also a good gentleman's knife from there I will go you got your bird the only bird I have and I, I do think they make a smaller one than the robin um, but this one is also a good gentleman's knife but it is getting heavy so it's a heavier knife if you go the way FRN it might be a little bit lighter than this one but this is also a good gentleman's knife small and then you go to your full steels, your drifter is a good gentleman's knife. But this one's also on the heavier side because of the stainless steel uh, scales. Even your Sandman Moon, you know, it's very streamlined, very slim. I mean, it is heavy because of the uh, steel line, steel uh, scales. Um, but it's also a good looking gentleman's knife. I do consider it a gentleman's knife because of the size. 
Um, and then the biggest one would be the crown. This, uh, the Kershaw crown, is a very nice looking, very elegant knife. They came out with, uh, I think it's a crown 2. It's smaller than this one. Um, the thing is with the, this one is because of this uh, steel bolsters here. It, it is heavy. You know, it is a heavy, a heavy blade. I think it's the heaviest of, of all of the ones I've shown. So, um, yeah, these are considered, this, this is what I would consider in my collection a good gentleman's knife. Um. Uh, and nothing too crazy uh, so it will be the crown it will be the CRKT drifter the Sunbrand move 701 or 710 sorry the uh, Kershaw Hawk the Kershaw OD2 the Kershaw chill the bird Robin 2 the um, Case Sodbuster Jr. The Baron Sons Blackback. The uh, Case, I think it's called Beinhorn, something like that, something like horn. It's also a Case. The uh, Spider Cool Dragonfly 2. The Spider Cool Pingo. And the spider cool ladybug. I've been wanting a man bug, but I cannot justify the price. You know, it's a little bit too much for a knife just about this size. Maybe a little bit heftier, you know, but too much money for a man bug. You know, I'd rather stick to the ladybug. That's just my opinion. Um, so that was it. That's the video. And uh, if you have any more ideas or any knives that you think can fall in this category, just post it. You know, I would like to know. Maybe I don't have it. Maybe I can get it. And uh, thanks for watching.